Well, hello. Uh, my name is Michael Godfrey, and I am a senior customer engineer here at Microsoft. Today, I wanted to show you how I'm using Azure Arc to manage my Azure Stack HCI cluster. Um, so, first things first, uh, we will start managing the cluster like I would normally do on premises here using Windows Admin Center. So, I'm using Windows Admin Center to manage my HCI cluster. You can see here in the dashboard, I have the normal things I would normally do. Now, I'm currently running the 2103.2 release of Windows Admin Center. So, this is the newest release. And so, you can see here, um, my cluster is registered in to Azure just fine. Everything looks healthy. I have my servers are online. My virtual machines are running. CPU and memory usage looks healthy. And the storage is in a decent state. Now, when I set up this cluster, the very first thing I had to do was register this cluster. Now, this cluster is running the 21H2 preview release of Azure Stack HCI. Um, that is important to know because this Azure Arc integration is enabled with 21H2. If you're running 20H2, the current release of Azure Stack HCI, this will be a in-place upgrade to 21H2 when that is released into GA later this year. And so you'll re-register that cluster and this Azure Arc integration will turn on immediately. Uh, if not, uh, when you deploy the cluster fresh with 21H2, the registration process actually installs the Azure Arc integration steps that are needed to connect your cluster in with Azure Arc. So that means it's a very easy process for me to onboard my nodes to Azure Arc. Once that's done, I then can go into Azure Arc and start using the Azure Arc service, which I use for managing resources in multi-cloud environments, in multiple data centers, and so forth around the world for my SQL, my Kubernetes, my virtual machines, my physical servers, and now my Azure Stack HCI clusters. So you can see here is my Azure Stack HCI cluster. Uh, to node Lenovo deployment running the Think System SE350. And you can see here it's online and it's communicating just fine with Azure Arc. Diving into that cluster, I could see the capabilities. So after I've registered the cluster and onboarded it to Azure Arc, the first thing I want to do is onboard the log analytics. That means once I onboard log analytics, I could start using the monitoring tools that Azure Arc and Azure Monitory are bringing together collaboratively for me to monitor my cluster or clusters up in the Azure portal. So I'll just simply provide a log analytics workspace. And once I've done that and onboarded the agent, the monitoring will be enabled. Now the monitoring is pretty similar to what you were seeing in the dashboard, right? I see the health state of my servers. I see that critical alert that I was seeing earlier in the dashboard, my validation test I need to look into. Um, but everything else looks pretty healthy. Now this is pretty decent information, but I would like a little more detail as to what's going on. So what I'll do there is I'll go to the Azure Monitor. And in Azure Monitor, I'll see Azure Stack HCI, and I can connect to my cluster. Now I have a rich workbook that's pulling in detailed information about my cluster. So I could see at a glance, multiple clusters and see details about those clusters in one pane of glass. So I could see CPU state, memory, network usage, VM state, and more. And as I want to dive in further and say, well, let's see what the storage is like on these. So I can look at individual volume or individual physical drive performance on this HCI cluster. So I can see everything looks pretty good. Nested mirror is about 50% consumed. So I need to make a note of that and start monitoring that. I can then dive into performance metrics and see CPU trend, volume latency, uh, IOPS throughput, and so forth on this cluster. Looking at the virtual machines at a glance, I could see load balancing all those virtual machines looks healthy. So with the monitoring, I've got a really rich look into what's coming into this environment. Now, there's alerts that are coming soon but I can actually onboard those right now through Admin Center. So if I go back to my cluster and I go to my uh, Azure Monitor here, I can enable diagnostic logs. So that same diagnostic log analytics workspace that I'm sending results up to, I can then send that information up. So you see that my cluster is onboarded here 
connected to a login and links workspace and I have some alert rules that I've enabled. So I have these alert rules that I've enabled by default and then I have an action group and that action group is going to uh, allow me to get result or get alerts based on these thresholds. I can dive into those and see right now I currently have nothing going on and I can dive in and look in the login analytics workspace for what those actionable items are. So looking at heartbeat, this will summarize the heartbeat counts and if there are two lost heartbeats, I'll get an alert and that'll send me a email, an SMS and a push notification in my Azure application, uh, mobile app on my iPhone. So I can see, you know, fewer than two heartbeats for five minutes and I'll get an alert and know that I need to go look into what's going on with that cluster. In addition, I can use Azure Arc to know the status of my individual nodes. I need to know that this last update cycle that uh, my node is completely compliant with my update policy. So I'll go into the individual server into Azure Arc and I can dive into node one in this case and I can see its status as far as update management. Is it following policy and compliant with my update policies? Yes. There are no updates that I need to apply to this node, so there's no need to run cluster aware updating. I also want to make sure that it's compliant with my Azure policies for my entire subscription, and wow, it is not. There is a security benchmark that I'm not compliant with, so I need to go file a change process so that I can get this taken care of in my environment. Speaking of change, there is change tracking. So just like Azure Automation brings change tracking to the forefront, that log analytics tie-in with Arc brings that change tracking to Azure Arc. And so now my physical servers in Orlando are reporting up to Azure uh, Arc and log analytics to provide me information about my change tracking, my inventory, and more all through Azure Arc. So you can see the process of onboarding is very simple. I can even check the status of the onboarding on the individual nodes. So in Windows Admin Center, if I go to an individual node and connect to it, I can then go to the settings I'm going a little fast and see in Azure Arc for servers, I can see the status of my node and its registration in with Azure Arc. So not only do I know that it's registered without Arc there, I could even onboard a node simply through this uh, setting here in Windows Admin Center while I'm connected to Azure. So. In review, uh, we can use Azure Arc to monitor our HCI clusters around the world and integrate with update management, Azure policies, and more from a simple registration process for my HCI cluster. And you can see many monitoring and other capabilities as they come online for the Azure Arc services. And not only is Azure Arc limited to managing my HCI clusters, but I can manage SQL, AKS, physical servers, virtual machines in Azure, AWS, GCP, on-premises, Hyper-V, ESX, the limits are non-existent. So uh, hopefully this gets you excited about using Azure Arc. Um, my name is Michael Godfrey and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.